We're headed for the North Pole today, a yearly TSDN tradition at this point. Last year, we ran into Santa Claus who had issued a distress call and needed a ride. Getting it all aired down? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You feeling uh, festive today, Andy? Yeah, ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Ho. We're pretty close to the North Pole, eh? I heard some chitter chatter on the radio today. Really? Oh. <laughs> Are you feeling festive today, Kate? I am feeling very festive. You feeling festive this morning, Mike? Super festive. Yeah. Feeling festive? Christmas Eve this morning, Ron? Not at all. Nope. <laughs> all right guys we just got down to the trailhead we're getting there down ready to go very close to the north pole today so we're gonna go up high and uh, probably get into some fresh snow feeling festive should be a good day all right we're getting underway it's gonna be a good day As we headed up into the mountains, we hit some thick morning fog. This is some pretty thick fog that we're getting into going up the side of the mountain here. Got to be careful on some of these corners. You can't see more than a couple meters in front of you. Soon after, the first signs of snow. This winter has been mild so far, so we're hoping to make it up much higher for some epic views. climbed and headed further into the snow top trees. Somehow, I could feel like there was some Christmas magic in the air. Further up though, Mike is having some issues with his cruiser and we have to make a stop. Everything all right? This one I don't. I think I got a vacuum leak somewhere, but I don't know. Just carry on, I just, uh, it's a little fun when we stop. I have to <laughs> pull the rest off. All right. It's fine as long as we're not idling. So I don't know, it's just 
got a leak somewhere, but kind of hard to find out here. Nothing obvious, so we'll carry on and hopefully it fixes itself. Andy and Braun took off ahead of it after getting some strange radio chatter. We ended up a bit out of radio range with them too and unsure where they'd gotten off to. gonna have to lock this off so that it's not so uh, skinny getting through here. This snow is uh, skinny pedal snow and uh, skinny pedal makes you slide and stuff like this and wrecks your truck. The snow was getting deeper and we started fighting the hill climbs as we pushed further up the mountain. No longer sure of where our friends had gotten off to. off ahead of us that he had to use the bathroom and uh skies and sun above the white landscape here was absolutely stunning to look at. Yeah. And then we saw some smoke in the distance. These are some of the best cookies. What's that? Hey, Rudolph! Come back here! Rudolph! Holy cow, I think I just saw a reindeer. I can't believe it, I think we found Santa again. Where's he going? Long time no see. You again? Oh, hey, maybe we should elbow bump. Oh, yeah. Didn't you give me a lift last year? What's going on? Oh, I was up here chilling, taking it in. You guys scared my reindeer away. We scared your reindeer away? 
Oh, I thought I saw a reindeer when I was pulling up. That's crazy. Yeah, you guys with your sick Jeeps and your loud exhaust, man. <laughs> you need a muffler for Christmas this year. Santa? Yeah, Mike. Last year you clearly came through for me for Christmas. And this year I sent my letter away, but I don't know if I made it there because COVID's happening and the mail's all screwed up. But I really could use some recovery gear. I'm actually stuck just down the hill and I can't make it up. You know, I got your letter, Mike. But somehow Santa had a feeling he was going to see you. So, wow, Santa. Seen uh, Richard at Freedom Recovery Gear. And we got you a hookup. That's Damn. exactly what I need. Hey. Santa's got sponsors. Hey Santa, you wanna have some fun and pull me out? Yeah. It's a nice kinetic rope. Santa didn't spare any expense. Grab a couple of these and we're good. Hey. Hey guys. Oh my God. How's it going? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Santa just stole Andy's Jeep, and now he's doing a recovery. It's nuts. That was a clutch recovery, Santa. Better the beans. And just like that, Santa was gone into the night. We all huddled around the fire Santa had built at the Fire Lookout Tower, shared some cookies and milk and campfire stories. Bron had found us and he'd gotten a bit stuck, so we pulled him out and then decided to start heading back south. Guys, I really want to take this time to wish everyone viewing this a very Merry Christmas. I've been lucky this year to have possibly the best year of my life, and I owe that to all of you for watching these videos. So have a great holiday season, and I'll see you all right here in January. My name is Sean, and this is the story till now. Jeep. Guys, if you want to see another perspective of this video, you can check out Andy's channel. It's Jeep BC on YouTube, okay? That's my good buddy, okay? I'll see you guys later.